bite. Likely the only chance he has against the great Tyson Fury with his reach and skill. Do we get it? Does Chisora run out and will Fury meet him to just start throwing? Heavyweight Championship of the World. Seconds out. Round Here we go. One. Chisora jabbing to the body, trying to come over the top with a right hand against Fury. Yes, he took a shot early. Hey, let him go. Let it go, boys. Let it go. Stand by. It's the kind of shot you don't want to get hit in the first round in this kind of weather outdoors. Goes to the body. Fury has great respect for Chisora's ability to do that. That right hand nearly came behind the head. There's a right hand from Fury that comes in. He's holding referee. He's holding. Let's get out. He's holding referee. Let it go. Let it go. Not sure Fury's gonna stand and fight Chisora the way he wants until he's got full control of this fight. And he feels like he's in full control. There's a right uppercut that came in from Tyson Fury. Remember, Chisora has gone down in recent years from uppercuts. Tried to aim it again. That's another, the shot. Another short right uppercut on the inside as he closed that distance. Yes, those right uppers, left uppers, those are coming all night because everybody knows, including Tyson Fury, that your sword has to duck low in order to hit a tall target. Fury's not giving him an opportunity. Driving down right hand. Another right uppercut. And it doesn't take much from Fury. And there is a right cross that lands as they tie up. Chisora probing with that jab to the body. Trying to close that ground. See if he can place the right hand behind it. There's Fury with the right hand behind the jab. Of course, a jab that comes with 85-inch reach. End of one, and we will listen in to Sugar Hill Stewart, the trainer of Tyson Fury. That's Sugar. That's a good round. It's okay, Johnny. Yeah, just keep fainting, man. Before he even take his first step, fainting, fainting, step over. You almost had him a minute ago, and you fainted and froze him. Keep fighting him, man. He's done it. As soon as you get right into that leg, if in John Jack, I'm going to fucking bump him and push him off with a check check. Okay? okay. Notice that Fury is wrapped in a towel with weather that has dipped temperatures that have dipped into the low 40s. Meanwhile, on the other side, Chisora uncovers. Being more active. Being more active. Second down. Round two. In that first round, Fury was 9 of 37, Shizora 12 of 27. Six of those were jabs. For Fury, seven of the nine were power punches. Yeah, it's extremely hard for Shizora to get inside that 11-inch reach advantage of Tyson Fury. Good shot right there. He did it as I spoke. Right hand comes over the top from Derek Shizora. But Fury doesn't give those up very often. Short left hand on the inside, just as there was some separation. Chisora backed up again.
Good counter right there from Tyson Fury. No, you're going to throw that big overhead right. He can time it. That's how you discipline an opponent. Make him think twice. These shots are hurting Derek Chisora. He's just recovering quickly. You see the stumble. You see that he got buzzed. He's a veteran, so he can play it off. But you see it. And he can tie up. And he's trying to place the short left hands when they're shoulder to shoulder as well. He is a veteran war dog, is Chisora. Remember, he went the distance with Usyk. Tyson Fury not getting much resistance, but he looks real sharp with his offense, with his quickness, and his first step. That half hook, half jab, followed by a right hand is extremely dangerous and extremely quick. And Dre, the distance it can come at, like right there, as Shizora just crossed the threshold, and Fury put it right on him. And he leans that big body on you, ties you up, and there's literally nothing Chisora can do. One, two from Fury. As Chisora just dipped to the right. Three punch combination by Fury. There's the uppercut. It has been the target since the beginning. As he then tosses him into the ropes. Right hand drive from Fury. Right uppercut comes in. And Chisora's trying to cover up. He's in trouble. And Fury headhunting before he gives space. Final moments here in round two. And Chisora clearly affected. Left uppercut. Right uppercut just missed. Drives a downward right hand. Just feet above us, and you can hear the thud from Fury. Devastating shots that Chisora is getting hit with. Heavy Dominating shots. Dominating second round by the champ. Absolutely dominating, especially that last minute. Bro, listen. Just keep fighting him and checking it. Keep, uh, when you get inside, get inside, get inside, just grab him up a little bit more. Grab him a little more than what you're doing. Grab him right. up off his feet. Because I want you to catch him off that bump. You bump him and just check it. You know the big guys don't want to work out there, boy. As Alexander Usyk looks on, he has three heavyweight titles. Let's employ a jab again, okay? He was jabbing good in the first round. Let's get that jab going. Jab it, bring your hand back. You hear me? Keep touching that body. See an exchange right here, flick jab right there, good body shot and a right hand that landed on the chin of Derek Chisora. And then he gives him a wink. Three. Yes, he did. You see it all from Fury. In that second round, Fury landed 18 of 30 power punches, the majority of the work coming in the final minute. Chisora took a lot of punishment in that corner. A lot of punishment. Oh, and he took a left hook to open up this third round. He's taking those shots, but they are devastating shots. You can see it. They land heavy. He can't respond. And Fury is not backing up. He's coming on. And a right hand wobbles Chisora. Uh -oh. Chisora's on weak legs. He's in the corner. And Fury is throwing uppercut after uppercut. And Chisora's holding out to that top rope. Another uppercut lands. With all that weight. And all that leverage of Tyson Fury, he can drive power home. Hey, let him go, boys. Let him go. Step back. Step back. If Tesor is going to be on the ropes, get your hands up. Right uppercut breaks in. And a follow up headshot. Serious damage being done here in round three. Step back. Victor Lockwood looking to separate them as the veteran Tesora. Londa tie up. Oh, good left hook. Left good shot. Right uppercut. Brutal punishment being put forth by Fury. Fury landing all the right shots with the fighter in that position, ducking down like that. The jabs and the uppers as he drops, Fury throws up. That long probing left hand creating a sight line that does damage with the right. A lot of punishment this man is taking right now. A lot of punishment. 
He's a tough, proud warrior, is Chisora. Gary has great respect for him as he even comes forward with an overhand right. After taking all that damage, Chisora showing that he will not give and he will still be aggressive. Yeah, he'll try as long as he can. That's what you respect about Derek Chisora. Fury looking for that right shot to end this fight. And he takes an angle and places a right hand to the body. As big as he is, it's always the movement, it's always the skill that impresses with Tyson Fury. A left uppercut lands, and another one. And down they go! A combined nearly... I don't know if he may have gotten his leg there. It's a lot of weight falling to that canvas right now. Oh, it sure is. 530 of pounds weight. of it. And it was Chisora who was on the bad end of it. It's not just the punches. It's what he does leaning on you, mauling you, being physical, and bullying his opponents. Okay? Yeah, give me that. I will say in there, Huh? Okay. Good. Listen, we Joe need to Joyce keep our discipline, and right? Usyk. We need to employ that jab. That's the only thing that will back him up. You're succeeding with it. We need to do it more. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah. Double jab. 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 You gotta give up a single jab. Poke him in there. Shoot down. Look, your eyes like this. Look. Very fighting on cruise control. Stand behind that jab and just landing at wheel. One more thing. Lee also cuts like that. That's a no no. But it's working tonight. Followed by overhand right. And those are shots that don't seem heavy, but we're ringside and we hear them. Boom. Another big shot that Chisora tries to respond with. And those are the kind of shots that Chisora has been hit with all night. He needed a breather. He pulled Tyson Fury down. A lot of weight going to the canvas. Glad both guys are okay. Round number four, right now to this point, Tyson Fury has landed 54% of his power punches. He landed 23 in that last round. Chisora opens up this fourth round, swinging to the body, sweeping with the right and the left across the belt line, probing with the jab to the body. Chisora should let his hands go. And you would say, well, he's going to open himself up to get hit. Well, he's getting hit anyway That's right. by not punching. So you might as well get yours and try to land some shots and inflict some punishment. There's a short left hook that nearly landed. And there is a right hand that comes in from Chisora. Chisora lands early here in round four. I don't care how long you've been in a sport, you should never get to a place where you accept taking punishment without a response. Gary with a much slower pace here in the opening minute of round four. There's that feint and then the jab. Sugar Hill told him the feint will open things up easily with Chisora. See the punishment on the face of Derek Chisora and in the body language of Chisora. Back to the jab for Fury. Uppercut as Chisora came to the inside. You hear the corner of Derek Chisora, the lead trainer Don Charles, who has been with him for the majority of his career, complaining to the referee about the holding on the inside. He's doing his job. They know that Fury's going to tie up inside, as he should. And they're petitioning the referee to try to do something about it. It's a lot better from Chisora, A, because Fury took his foot off the gas a bit in this round, and B, because he's coming forward, throwing more punches. If you're gonna go out, go out fighting. That's what Chisora does not need to be, right there. Back against the ropes. The Tyson Fury can line him up and land shots like that. Behind the jab, the right hand scores for Fury. 
A less offensively productive round for Tyson Fury. Another right hand comes in. End of four. That was a much better round. We need to do the same thing. But I need double jabs now. Crispy ones. Remember chevrons. Chevrons. Trust me. Keep touching that body. That body is soft, believe me. Yeah? Good boy. We want more head movement. Tesoro's only shot is to land a big shot, and that is typically going to be the overhand right from Tesoro. He hasn't had much success, but you see the effort. He takes the shot. He tries to land. He can't land because his opponent has an 11-inch reach advantage. Seconds. So he can't hit the mark, but he needs to keep trying. That willingness, though, that willingness is what Fury likes about five. having Chisora as his opponent tonight. Get through tonight and set up an undisputed fight against Alexander Usyk, who is here ringside. And if everything goes according to plan, we'll be in the ring with Fury after this. Round number five is Chisora comes forward again. Through four rounds, he landed ten punches, nine power punches. Fury opponents land just 6.2 punches per round on average. That's half of what the heavyweight average is. So ten punches landed in that last round. The high mark so far in power punches for Chisora. Meanwhile, Fury has landed 74 of 180 overall. Let's bring in Mark Kriegel, who was listening into the corner of Derek Chisora. Mark. Don Charles, how do you make this right? How do you get even? He says if we have to fight, we have to make Tyson fight at our pace. I don't know how you're going to do that with a guy with 11 inch reach advantage. That is a challenge. Double jab right hand by Fury. Right uppercut lands. You know, veteran fighters sometimes it's easier to take a punch than it is to use the effort to get out of the way. And that's what Chisora is in his career. He knows he can take a good shot. Doesn't mean he can't be hurt. So dangerous ducking low like that in it, line with that uppercut. And it's easier for him to take the shot on the chin than to make the effort to duck, put his guard up, and get out of the way. Good little man move from a big man right there, Tyson Fury, to step back short right hand. It amazes how many times we say that. A little man move for a big man. Yes. For a guy who's six foot nine and looks like a bag of milk. You gotta respect him. That's, not, that's a nightmare for any heavyweight having to face that. Fury showing a different look from the South Paw stands. We've seen him switch before. Off balance just on that exchange. That's a combination of age and punishment from this fight. The legs are not, they're not there like you want them to be. They're not as sturdy as you want them to be. And often when that's the case, you'll see Fury lean on an opponent. That's exactly what he should do. Deal with my leverage, deal with my height, deal with my weight. Now from that southpaw stance, just flicking out that right jab. That was a much better pace, a little slower pace, just what you want to do. Just keep touching and walking, keep tapping and walking. <laughs> Him right there, right here. Just keep finding him on the body. That's all you can do to him. On the shots, you got to go. Signature Tyson Fury move here. Flick. 
flick, blind you, boom, that's the shot he really wants. And some would say that's an illegal punch. Well, on paper it is, but it's the referee's job to recognize it and to call it out. Gary has landed 30 of 106 jabs. He's landed 65 of 121 power punches, 54%. Round number six from this magnificent setting at a sold out Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in North London. Southpaw jab, left uppercut, and leaning on him again. Chisora tries to walk him back. He's taking his sweet time to release. There's that uppercut again. Every time Chisora dips, Fury views it as an opportunity to throw it. Right hand behind the jab. That was a blinding jab with the right hand falling immediately and then driving down a right hand. And Chisora comes forward off of it and offers up a right hand of his own. Not really a two-punch combination Fury has to look out for. It's just the one. Yes. Chisora is at a point in his career where he rarely throws two big shots because it takes balance to do that he doesn't have that right now he will come back with the one big shot though. 38 years old and so many miles on the odometer and now he turns so he's got to be ball. looking for the overhand left he's ducking down looking high now he's back to the right hand stance Terry steps to him Mark Kringle, what are they saying in the corner of Fury? Well, Fury said he'd be disappointed if he didn't end it in six. I asked, so how do you get rid of him? He goes, get rid of him. This guy's tough. You got to set it up and bang away. That's what he's been doing. Jab landed flush. It's going to be the shot that Ch Chisora doesn't see, like a sneak right uppercut that just landed a few seconds ago. Typically a shot that he sees, he can weather it. He can weather it, he can absorb it, and come back. But it's that shot that he doesn't see that might do the job. There's that double jab, right hand again. You can see Fury shaking that right hand, looking to sit on it. Overhand right, sweeping, and a miss from Chisora. A willingness, but a miss. As the fight grows on, that punch becomes slower and slower, uh -huh. has less and less steam on it. And creates more and more of an opportunity for Fury. Yes, it does. There is just biding his time right now. He's not worried about points, he's worried about punishment. He's piling up the punishment round after round, and you'll see him start to step it up in just a few rounds. Good shot there from that southpaw stance, the right hook. The feels like temperature is 38 degrees. There have been notable outdoor fights in cold temperatures. But this, as low as we've seen with a 17 mile an hour wind, feels like 38 degrees. Tighten up on that right leg, you keep putting it behind you. The shots are beating, you get more leverage that way. All the shoulders, don't worry about it. It's all right here, that's it. Bang, bang. It's starting to work better on the inside after those short shots. So get your leg up in here good. Hey, I'm going to back you that go Frank. You got too much space between you. Give my leg in here. Yeah. Let's jump. Let's jump. Let's jump. Come on, get your feet. Come on. Come on. Fury has dominated in the punch stats. 121 to 49. Even more significant, 78 of those 121 landed our power punches. Bounce to his step here to open up round seven. It's also very difficult for a, a heavyweight opponent of Tyson Fury to deal with. It's the different looks that he gives you. One minute he's leaning on you. The next minute he's moving around. The next minute he's bouncing in place. It's a lot of different things you got to contend with when you face Tyson Fury. 
Just ask Deontay Wilder. Digs underneath with a left to the body and then mauls and leans and pushes back. Trezora going to the body. Chisora draining Chisora, weakening the legs. Every chance he gets in a clinch. Here you see him walking back again. That's intentional. He's using the size advantage, the weight advantage in his favor. Let it go. Let it go, boys. There's that right hand from distance behind that 85 inch reach of a jab. So much to absorb for Chisora as Fury goes southpaw again, flicks with the chicken wing right hand and then looks to fire that left uppercut as he does right there. Good combination that does damage in that neutral corner as we have reached the end of seven on a cold, chilly night here at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in North London. There's not much in this fight, trust me. You're grinding away. Will we have a super fight against that guy soon enough? Alexander Usyk, the unified heavyweight champion, signing autographs ringside. We told you it feels like it's 38 degrees with the 15 mile an hour wind. You think back to the famous scene of Marvin Hagler against Mugabe when steam was coming off his head. Or when Sugar Ray Leonard used the blanket between rounds and Larry Merchant said, colder than any fight I've ever been to. It was 37 in Vegas. When Lewis and Bruno fought in Cardiff, Wales, 52 degrees. Corners, and with the chill here, seconds. it feels like it's in the 30s. December in North London, to see Tyson Fury down, and Derek Chisora. Eight. Round number eight. The odds makers had a total round over under of six and a half. They had Fury by knockout at minus 350. Will he deliver at this point? A lot of damage taken by Chisora. See Fury being the bully early in his round. Pushing Chisora back. Once again, weakening, draining his opponent. I think Fury can stop this fight or get this fight stopped whenever he's good and ready. How so, Dre? By putting enough punches together where one gets through and Chisora goes down or goes out. It's not easy to get out of there, but he's certainly ready to be taken out. Fury's tasted the power, he knows what he has. Obviously, this is the third fight, but I mean, just tonight. He's landed the shots, he's gotten the reaction from Chisora, so he knows that his punches are being felt. He can step this up whenever he's ready. Chisora willing to throw between those punches. You can see some swelling around his eyes. But willing to go after it with Fury. From Tyson Fury as Chisora ties up. Bad 
place for Chisora. Can't be like place that. for Tyson Fury. Leaning against the ropes at the distance of Fury to do what he wants. Here comes that flick. When Tyson Fury bounces like that, he wants that flick. Right hand shot. These are big shots raining in. These are head shots raining in. The thudding shots. To sit this close to a man this big landing that flush, you hear it. You feel it. But Chisora also has his back to the rope to help him stand up. Uppercut reigns in from Fury. Veteran move. Use the ropes. Those legs are not great. He needs some support to absorb those shots. Good right, right uppercut from Tyson Fury. Might have been slightly blocked by Chisora. And then across the threshold. Left up, guys, a right uppercut again. Remember, it was a right uppercut that finished things at Wembley against Dillian White. Chisora still to the inside, going to the body. Fury's checking Ch Chisora's temperature. And then Chisora will come back with two or three big shots. And Fury says he's not ready yet. And then he'll go back to boxing. That got the crowd's attention. Fury says, well done, Chisora. Well done. End of eight. Okay. Okay. The uppercuts have been the story for Tyson Fury tonight, Dre. Yes, this is the shot we talked about in the outset. Tyson Fury stuck to the script. You see those shots, short shots inside, blinded him right there. That's a mid-range mid upper, left upper. Tyson Fury knows the assignment, and he's executing the game plan tonight. And the game plan shows up in the CompuBox stats as well, tallying 113 power punches landed, a 200 thrown, that's 56%. Typically, when you get this deep into a fight and the power punch connect percentage is over 50%, you are headed to a knockout win. Let's see if that happens against the game, tough and spirited Chisora. to the body underneath. Yeah, that didn't feel too good. No, it did not. Right hand up top from Fury. These shots that are bouncing off the head of Chisora, they hurt and they stun fighters, especially the ones toward the top of the head. Mark. You know, you saw Chisora come in here with his kids. He's an older guy. He doesn't have to make a show of his heart. Sometimes guys have too much courage for their own damn good. He has plenty of that. Series of head shots rain in in the neutral corner right above us. At some point, if Fury puts enough punches together, the referee's got to take a hard look at that because what's the point at this point? Right hand was slow and deliberate as it came in and a big left uppercut came back from Fury. It's also the responsibility of the corner to make that decision, too. This has happened before. We've seen this movie before in Fury Chisora 2 in the 10th round. It's, it's about that time. It sure is. He has just absorbed all night long. And many upstairs like that. You get hit with those kind of shots and you don't have enough to return fire, it's time to go. It's time to go home. He's not returning much here deeper into this ninth round. There is blood coming from the mouth of Chisora. There is swelling, extreme swelling around the right eye. 
Those eyes don't look no, good. They don't. Derek Chisora, they haven't. This does not look time. good at all. His face is damaged. There's a big uppercut. And he just pushes him back. Look at the face of Chisora. Blood coming from his mouth as he gets to the end of nine. Get inside. Yeah. Is this? He said he's not going to let Run number ten. Much, Don't listen to him. This is ten. Yeah. yeah. Keep your hands up all the time, Keep your hands up, okay? We're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. 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 Ten coming up, isn't it? This yeah. is round number ten. This is ten. Okay. You would have no, to think, Trey, that referee Victor Hoffman will take a look very early here in round ten. He's looking, and I think he needs to make a move. What are you looking for? You've seen enough. We've all seen enough. Let's see if Fury can close the show right now, right here. Another uppercut. Chisora fighting desperate to open up this 10th round. He has been completely outgunned. These kind of fights are more dangerous than a fighter taking one big shot and being knocked out. There is no doubt about it. These are concussive and sub-concussive blows that you're taking from a man the size of Tyson Fury. That right eye is shutting out Chisora. Blood is coming from his mouth, and he is being teed up. Heavyweight champion in complete control, looking for a knockout late here at Tottenham. His trainers and assistant trainers got to be honest with themselves in moments like this in this fight. It's not about the backlash, the crowd, or anybody else. It's about that fighter that you know won't quit. You gotta help him out. Who is a caring husband and father. Mark, what are they saying in that corner of Chisora? Stopping this. He wouldn't even look at me. I'm sorry, repeat that, Mark. I just went over to the corner and said, are you guys thinking of stopping this? He wouldn't even look at me. His fighter just ate a body shot, and then another right uppercut. And Fury just walking him back, just leaning on him, and getting ready to hand out more punishment. Yeah, the referee wants to make the move, but he doesn't want to make the move. He's looking, but he, he's not stepping in. I get it, Chisora at one punch, but that punch isn't gonna land and do any damage to Tyson Fury tonight. It's already landed. He's taking the punch. It's time to go home. Fury can help this process out if the ref in the corner don't want to stop it by hitting Chisora with the right flurry to get the ref to step in there. Right hand, left uppercut. That was glancing, and that's enough. Victor Walkland said, listen, one more combination, it's over. He got it. Tyson Fury, TKO victory in 10. A bruising, deliberately punishing night absorbed by Derek Chisora. He took such damage. Usyk. Arms folded. Three heavyweight belts on that man ringside after defeating Anthony Joshua. The number one heavyweight in the world, the lineal heavyweight champion, in the ring celebrating a victory and giving respect to the veteran Chisora.
Fury looked sharp tonight. I know it was against a battle-worn Derek Chisora, but the shots he threw and the shots he landed and the punch selection, you, you, you got to see that, man. He, he's, he's very, 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 very good and still has a lot left in the tank. And I can understand why he doesn't want to walk away like this. And for Derek Chisora, I have great respect for Chisora. It's time to walk away. If you love the sport, do be a part of the sport another kind of way. But this isn't it. Because your family is not only watching this, but they got to deal with the aftermath. We go home. They stay with you, and they got to deal with this. It's time to pack it in. You've gotten a great opportunity on the way out the door. Go enjoy your family and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Two children ringside tonight for Chisora. Meanwhile, Paris Fury and his daughter and son, Venezuela and Prince, in the ring with their father. Their father, the 34-year-old undefeated heavyweight champion of the world. This was a night that he wanted Usyk for undisputed status. Instead, Usyk said after doing what he did with Joshua, he wanted a rest for the remainder of this year. But knowing that his manager is the manager of Vasily Lomachenko and shares a very close relationship with Top Rank and Bob Arum, it is expected that that will be an easy deal to now get made for an undisputed heavyweight championship fight. As this crowd got exactly what they wanted. The spectacle of the energy of a Fury fight and then the outcome of a knockout victory. Man, it's gonna be hard to beat anytime soon. We talked about this the last time we saw him at Wembley. With his size, with his skill, with his demeanor and knowing the stage of his life he's at of the tool that boxing is for him in his full recovery with mental health having been an issue I, in his prime right. how do you beat him? right and i'm not saying this because of what he did to chisora tonight we expected this but i'm looking at all the things we talked about the skill set the yes. punch selection him coming off of the, the big fights with you survive something like that with deontay wilder and come out on the other side you're gonna be a lot more dangerous and he still stand. Deontay Wilder is generationally the biggest puncher. Fury made brawls with him. Went down four times against Wilder. Got up and beat him down. And there's not a lot of guys in the heavyweight division that are going to do that to Deontay Wilder. Don't get it twisted. And don't be surprised if Deontay Wilder and what he's now doing in his career could come all the way back up very easy. Very easily. And we end up with a Fury Wilder four. But there's business to be done well before that with Alexander Usyk. And the great respect that Fury has for Jazora. Fury was happy, by the way, that when the Usyk fight didn't happen and when Joshua's people shelled the very generous offer, to give this opportunity and a big payday to Chisora. I respect that. He has great respect for him. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 2 minutes 51 seconds in round number 10. Our referee in charge, Victor Lachlan, had seen enough, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still the undefeated WBC and lineal heavyweight champion of the world, the Gypsy King, Tyson Fury! Bữa nay đi vô trường bắt ổ ông với thầy hùng tổng nha mình đang cầm cái cây móc phát hiện cái ổ ông bên cái cây cây gừa ở trước cái dãy khối hai ha đó, bên đó đó nè mình đang đi qua bên đó bây giờ mình qua tới chỗ quay cái cam lại nha đây là cái cây cái gừa nha cái gừa hôm trước mình gặp mấy con chim cú trên đây đó à, cái cây này đây 
đây là cây cây móc nha mình sẽ quay cái màn hình lại để mình móc cái ô ong cho mọi người xem nha đây là cái cây dừa nha cái ổ ong nó nằm ở cái góc bên đó chắc là mọi người rất khó thấy ông này là ông rùi cho nên nó cũng nhỏ thôi khó thấy nha thầy hùng đang đi qua nhân vật chính bắt ông nha đó. là cái cây móc quyền thoại nè bắt từ mấy cái ổ ong kia tới cái ổ ong này luôn nó gãy ngang luôn đó, đó. rồi bây giờ là mình sẽ móc cái móc lên mình giật nha đó, thầy hùng đang lựa cái kèo của nó đang móc vô ngay cái kèo nó cái cây nhỏ hay cây lớn anh hùng ồ cây nhỏ dễ mà rồi 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 ok rất là hay im quá im quá im giật xuống nghe mọi người ông nó tố tố ra nè ôi trà nó rớt vô đó lấy cây dễ không đã giật nó gãy rồi nha ông nó đang túa ra để mình đi <cười> mình đi mình đi ra trên chó nó mới được <cười> hồi nãy phải kéo ra ngoài luôn được rồi để cho nó lọt giữa mình khó lấy phải không lọt vô đâu rồi ổ nó đang nằm đâu nó nằm vô lọt lọt vô mấy cái rễ khó lấy nha ổ này là kéo lần này là không có bị bể luôn nha còn y luôn á hả em thấy hình như nó cũng, cũng hơi già á ok lọt chứ cái gì bởi vì mấy này nó rễ không khó lấy lấy cái ghế đứng lên không lấy cái ghế gần cao cao đứng lên này nó ra lấy được không bởi vì hồi nãy kéo mạnh ra luôn được ừ tại cái móc của mình lọc xuống nữa hả trời ơi nó lọc xuống sát dưới đây luôn rồi già luôn đó anh hùng ơi thấy không già luôn rồi Ồ, có mà sao không dễ vậy không có mà muốn đi rồi phát hiện phát hiện chậm có mật ít đúng không Đây là cái, uh, cái kèo uh, anh hùng đang cầm nha còn mình đang cầm cái uh, cái này kêu bằng cái gì không biết luôn cái ổ. Cái ổ. <cười> đó kèo này có mặt nha đó cái này già này nó bị già rồi lâu quá anh không bắt rồi ổ này bự chứ à. ừ ổ này bự nè này à này mà ý mình nhìn kỹ mà còn không thấy ở đây nè ờ tại anh sơ ý không để ý mình cũng không nghĩ nó mà đóng trên cây này thường nó không đóng trên cây này rồi cái này về ngâm rượu tiếp ngâm hoài đó bạn ơi nhưng không uống <cười> cái 
ngâm đi có ngâm hoài ngâm. bỏ vô thùng ngâm hoài ngâm tới chừng mà mật ong nó ra kẹo luôn nấu nấu uống mật ong không khỏi <cười> xuất ra ừ rồi nha đó chụp bộ hình rồi đó <cười> rồi thôi cảm ơn nha bye bye mọi người nha